So we've got wait a minute to come in. And they'll be set. Ready for the Pro Crew Battle of the Bush Chinchilla Qualifier 1200. All in, there's the light ready. Racing this time in the end, a pretty good line out. Striking Princess began well with VJ Day and they're going to make a race of it early. Dynamic Verse wants in as well. He's going to make a line of three, so they're serving it up to this favourite in the run of the first turn and they've already opened up a break of five or six lengths then. Uh, back in the field to uh, wait a minute who's on the inside of those. Uh, dropping out to the tail is Jockberg. He can't go with them. Valeda Harris is in second last place as they run down the side of the track and the Pro Coup, Chinchilla, Battle of the Bush qualifier and still this pair in front. It's VJ Day and Dynamic Verse. Striking Princess has dropped away. Wait a minute, has got the third now. Followed then by Abroy. Well back in the field then comes Valada Harris and Jockberg up to the home turn. VJ Day held together by Gearin. Just a couple away from the fence. Dynamic Verse trying to go with him. They're three in front of Wait a Minute and Striking Princess. Now he goes full ball on V. J Day and he put a gap in them. He raced clear. Striking Princess. Wait a minute. They're running on well. But he's too good VJ Day and he's back in Brisbane again. VJ Day beats Striking Princess and third home in the race. Uh, might go to Dynamic Verse in a photo there with Wait a Minute. Followed then by Jockberg who closed nicely late. Abroy and Velada Harris clocks in at the tail of the field. In the Pro Crew Battle of the Bush Chinchilla Qualifier and VJ Day is there again. Uh, Gary Gearan and Pat Webster, they uh, did their best to serve it up to him. But he's uh, taken on all comers. And under the plate conditions with the 60 and a half, these horses... Just weren't able to match him when the uh, chips were down and Gearin put the foot to the floor in the home running. Striking Princess, obviously she was keen to be in that lead group but uh, was happy to let Dynamic Verse serve it up and take a trail but she just lost contact of them there but she's finished well but the favourite too good. What do we got? Two, ten, six, and eight. Yep. One and a quarter by a long neck. Yep. One oh nine thirty three. Thank you, Donnie. It's 2, 10, 6 and 8 after the Pro Crew uh, Battle of the Bush qualifier here. VJ Day, Pat Webster, Gary Gearan beating home 10 striking princess. What a darling she is. She never shirks a task for Gary Schwanky and Emma McPherson and six running third dynamic verse. He was the one that was uh, marked to try and take on the favourite and probably bought his chances undone but he's stuck on well for third. And fourth in the race going to number eight, wait a minute. And there was an eye catcher as well from Jockberg first up from a spell so he might pick up a qualifier. 109 and 33, the overall time for... The qualifier, the class record 108.89, so they're only four tenths outside the class record. VJ Day, he's now won 10 of his last 12. Of course, there's by Warfront, the United States sire, who's famous, of course, he started off as a $10,000 service fee and finished at a quarter of a million service fee. One of the world's best sires. And he's out of the uh, mare Sassy image. He's one of the best bred horses to come to the country because she is a dual group one winner in the United States. And she sold for a million dollars US as a brood mare. But it matters little because he's uh, a gelding, but it does explain why. Uh, this thing's going off again. To VJ Day, the winner. Of course, it's by Warfront. 